Hello, moviegoers, and welcome to another edition of Have You Seen It? I am your host, Denise, and this week I am reviewing the movie Somewhere in Queens. This movie stars Ray Romano, Lori Metcalf, Jacob Ward, Jennifer Esposito, and a host of other actors and actresses. But they are the main characters in this movie. So, um, Ray Romano and Lori Metcalf play a married couple, Leo and Angela Russo, and Jacob Ward plays their son, Styx. Styx is a very good high school basketball player, um, very soft-spoken, kind of quiet, reserved, um, kind of unassuming, but he's very skilled um, in basketball. So Ray Romano's character, Leo, his family owns a construction company. So you've got the extended Italian family. You've got, you know, the dad who owns the company, you've got the brothers, sisters, mother. So you've got this entire New York City Italian family thing working. Well, Styx has aspirations to do other things besides continue the family tradition of uh, extending this construction company, handing it down from father to son to son, and so forth. Now, Ray Romano's character, Leo, really wants Styx to go to college. He has an opportunity for a scholarship, a tryout to go to college. And Styx's, you know, attitude is like, you know, I can take it or leave it. I'm good at basketball, I know I'm good, you know, but there's more to life than basketball and there's certainly more to life than um, this family business. So as the movie progresses, you see Leo struggling with a girlfriend that turns out to be his very first love and he's, you know, head over heels, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for this girl in a sweet kind of way. But that relationship doesn't quite work out the way that he had hoped. And so he takes it in and really, really has trouble, you know, dealing with that. His parents, on the other hand, Leo, his dad is like, you know, I'm sorry you're hurt, but listen, you got a chance to go play basketball and, you know, you, you can fall in love some other time. And not really taking his son's feelings into consideration. It's kind of like uh, selfishness on his dad's part because he's living out something through his son, kind of living vicariously through his son dreams and aspirations that were denied him because he carried on the family business and in doing so felt the humiliation and the self-destruction that happens when you are kind of forced and it is assumed that you're going to carry on a family tradition when that's really not what you want to do. And then you have the relationship between Leo and Angela, and she's got her ideas of what her son should and shouldn't do after high school. And you've got the family's input as to what Sticks should and should not do after high school. So you've got all of these people with all of their thoughts, with all of their feelings, with all of their opinions, their obnoxious behavior at times, their overbearing behavior all of the time, just flooding these families, this, this simple family of a mother, father, and a son, and then the extended family. And you see how they butt heads 
with one another based on everybody's own personal baggage that they are still carrying. So this is one of those heartwarming movies. There are some funny parts in this movie. I really like Ray Romano just as a sidebar. Um, there's some funny parts into it. Um, the family dynamic, there's some nice little barbs that go back and forth that are a little humorous at times, uh, a, 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 a little mean spirited at times, but, um, that's happens in, in families. And you see sticks grow into his own personality you know he has thoughts and dreams that are so different than what his father wants for him and what the family thinks is best for him so I'm gonna leave that there so you can kind of see how Leo kind of um, how, how not Leo but how sticks comes into his own on his own on his own terms so that is my review somewhere in Queens pretty pretty good movie now I'm going to jump into my Nailed It. My Nailed It this week is Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator, the very first one. Oh my gosh, you talk about a character who was meant to play, uh, uh, I, I'd say, I'm sorry, an actor who was meant to play this character. Um, he was the correct pick, um, fearless, void of emotions, uh, merciless, a indestructible cyborg killing machine, relentless, relentlessly pursuing poor little Linda Hamilton and trying to kill her. I remember seeing this movie and knowing that there's no such thing as a cyborg and this would never happen in real life. I was really, really frightened in this movie. Uh, I was afraid for her character and I was just really annoyed that he just could not die and he just would not go away. Okay, folks, so if you wanna blast from the past, check out the original Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, folks, before I move on, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the recent passing of Harry Belafonte, um, superb actor, singer, activist. He will be sorely missed in the industry and through his activism and social justice in general. We have lost a giant in Harry Belafonte. So we here at Have You Seen It extend our condolences to the Belafonte family. All right, folks, so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button. And we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it with Denise? And there I will be. All right, folks, you know what to do. Until next week, I need you to go see a movie because I'm going to see a movie. Bye-bye.